Okay, hello, hello, happy Sunday evening, everybody, happy Labor Day weekend, hope everybody's having an amazing, fun weekend. Uh, before it gets really, really late, I wanted to uh, hop on here and do a scripture, I just felt the need to do that. Uh, so here it goes, today we're talking about vindication, okay, um, the Lord will vindicate us. The Lord endures forever. And this is from Psalms 138.8 or 13.8. 13.8. Yep. Okay. Has someone mistreated you? Have you ever suffered an injustice for which you want revenge or vindication? God says that he is our vindicator and that vengeance is his. And that's from Romans 12, 19. Most of the time when people hurt you, they cannot pay you back. They have taken something away from you that only God can return. Imagine being sexually abused as a child. And let's just say it was your father. You would totally feel cheated in life, right? You want someone to repay you or, or just make everything okay. It's like you are owed something. Uh, but we do discover, and I have, while learning scriptures, I mean, someone hurts us. They cannot pay us back, but God could. He is a God of justice, which means that if we trust him, he will make wrong things right. He will. Being patient and waiting on God rather than taking matters into your own hands may be difficult to do, but God's reward will be better than any revenge or, you know, that we could come up with for ourselves. It, it will be better leaving it in God's hands and he will make things right. I urge you today to forgive all of those who have hurt you and turn the situation over to God. Then patiently wait and watch him. He will work amazing things in your life as long as we trust and we believe and we hold that faith. He will give you beauty for ashes, joy for mourning, uh, happiness for sadness, and peace for turmoil. God will restore your soul and give you every good thing he has for you. So let's pray. Father, I trust you are my vindicator and I forgive my enemies and I turn my situations over to you. I wait on your justice in my life. Thank you. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay. That is all I got for you tonight. Have an amazing Labor Day tomorrow and stay safe, stay blessed. And I'm out of here.